All right, so here we're supposed to find the revenue function r of x when the marginal re revenue is given by, whoa, r prime of x equals 400 minus 0.4x. And no revenue results at a zero production level. And what is the revenue at a production level of 1,000 units? All right, so first things first. We have the integral of r prime of x dx is equal to the integral of 400 and then minus 0.4x dx, okay? And I, I'm just writing it like this. Now what I could do is I can split it apart and say, okay, well, that integral we know is going to be what? That's going to be r of x after we do it. But now that's really going to be equal to, if we split that out, that's 400 times the integral of dx minus 0 0.4 integral of x dx. So this gives us what? Well, that gives us 400x. This gives us x squared over 2 when we take that integral. And x squared over 2, 2 goes in here. So that's going to be a minus 0.2x squared. And we still have plus our c because we're going to have a plus c1 here, plus c2 here. Combine them, and we get our c here. All right, so now uh, it says no revenue results at a zero production level. So if x is 0, then what is revenue? It's zero. So that means zero equals 400 times zero minus 0 0.2 times zero squared plus C. Well, that's zero, that's zero. So that means C is equal to zero. And so our R of X truly then is just 400 X uh, minus 0 0.2 X squared. There really isn't a C in this case. And so now we can just plug in 1,000 for our production level of x. And so we can say, well, r of 1,000 equals 400 times 1,000 minus 0 0.2 times 1,000 squared. Okay, maybe we should get rid of that little extra zero there. There we go. All right, so now let's go back to writing. And so if we plug that into our calculator, I'm not going to pull up the one online. I'll just do the one here in my, whoa, in my calculator on my desk. So that's going to be 400 times 1,000 minus 0 0.2 times 1,000 squared. And that gives me 200,000. All right, so it says, what is the revenue out of production of 1,000? thousand units. Okay, well the revenue is going to be two hundred thousand uh, dollars when uh one thousand units are produced. Okay, so that's what they were looking for. And again, we had to first find the uh, indefinite integrals of both sides, work our way down. Then they said when there's no revenue with zero production, so zero equals and plug in zero for X's, solve for C, we got our C. So then we got our actual revenue equation. And then after that, then we could plug in the actual number of units and we get $200,000 for that one. All right, so let's do one more. Um, this one says, there are currently 64,000 subscribers to an online fashion magazine. Due to the competition from an eight-month-old competing magazine, this number CT of subscribers is expected to de decrease at the rate of uh, C prime of T equals negative 600 T to the one-third subscribers per month, where T is the time and month since the competing magazine began publication. Now, how long will it take until the number of subscribers of the online fashion magazine drops to 46,000? All right, so first things first, let's integrate both sides okay and so then it'll be uh dt and it'll be dt so that gives us then what well c of t is equal to what well we can pull out the negative 600 and we'll have a negative 600 we'll have it then a t and that's going to be to the four thirds all over four thirds and then we'll have plus c now if we multiply by three fourths and multiply up here by three fourths that will give us the final value. And so that's going to go in there. That's going to be that times that. So it looks like a negative 450t to the 4 thirds plus c. All right. So that is our uh, subscriber you know, numbers. Now, what do we need to do? Now we need to think about, OK, well, the number at eight months is $64,000. So the number of subscribers here is going to be 
equal to 64,000 when T is eight months. And then T is the time in months. And so then we just have 64,000 equals negative 450 times eight to the four over three plus C. And again, I'm just gonna plug this into my calculator, 64,000 and then plus 450 times eight to the four divided by three. And so that looks to be uh, C equals 71200. Zero, zero. Okay, so that's what my actual C is. And so this really is C of T is equal to negative 450 T to the four thirds plus 71,200, okay? All right, so now uh, what do we need to do? Well, now we need to know how long it's gonna take. We need to find the time when that number is 46,000. All right, so let's put that in the middle. So 46,000 thousand equals negative 450 t to the four thirds plus 71,200 I guess I forgot the two there we go so now we'll subtract 71,200 subtract 71,200 and so we get what uh, zero zero half two five two it looks like because that's a two can't read it very well but that's a two and it's a negative and that's equal to a negative 450t to the 4 thirds divided by negative 450 divided by negative 450. Do that in the calculator. And 25200 divided by 450, that's 56. So t to the 4 thirds is equal to 56. But we want t, so let's take this to the 3 fourths. So if we take this, to the three fourths, we get t is equal to 56 to the three fourths, okay? But that's after how long? That's after the eight months, wherever that eight months is up here. So that's after eight months. So we've plugged in the eight months to get there. So now let's subtract off eight months. And so now we plug that into our calculator. Looks like that's gonna be 12.47 years and our months rather and I'm not sure but they're doing a whole numbers so that's probably going to be roughly 12 months is what they're looking for there so after 12 months our uh, subscribers are going to be down to 46,000 uh, at that point in time okay all right, so that's all I have for this section, so hopefully that will help you.